hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and in today's video i'm going to be doing my hair so today we're doing something a little bit different i am going to be installing some extensions on my hair i have this carotene extensions micro links eye tips that i made myself and they look like this and i used 20 inches bundles i always have like hair lying around and i always try to find ways to reuse uh, the bundles that I have if they're still in good condition so I find that it's easy for me to make them and it doesn't even take me long like to make this probably took me about two three hours and I'm just chilling at home and all you need to make this uh, you need some keratin bonds or palettes which looks like so you just melt it onto your straightener and I use like the dark brown ones. Last time I did this kind of extensions, I did the fusion version where you melt the eye tip, which looks like this. So you melt this onto your hair, but this time I'm going to do like a micro link. So micro link is when you use this kind of beads. So these are the ones that I see a lot of people using. These are the most popular ones. They're like the silicone lined beads. The ones that I'm going to use are the cylinder ones, which also looks like this. So these ones are a little bit longer, which covers most of the eye tip. I find that these ones are more comfortable, especially if you have fine hair like me. This can be a little bit irritating because they're like a little bit bulky, where else these ones are not as bulky and they're light. And they also come in different colors depending on your hair color. So I just buy the black one. And with this kind of extensions installed on your hair, you can wash your hair, you can color your hair. I think I even touch up my relaxed side one point because I did have a leave out. Uh, so you can do like everything this is kind of like your hair <laughs> in a way i just wanted to take a break from like protective hairstyles so for the ones that i'm going to be doing today i'm gonna need a eye tip which are extensions i'm gonna use some cylinders and some hair pliers so you're also gonna need like a looping tool i like using a small crochet so first i'm going to section my middle part And now I'm going to do my sides here. And the trick that I learned is to take your comb and put it on your leave out to see if it's still visible, then your extensions will probably show. So I'm going to take another like centimeter. And then put my comb so this this is better now it's not really like that visible so here's all my leave out done let me show you the back so this is the back i have the back left out here and the sides as well so i'm gonna go ahead and start at the back my filming space here it's a little bit limited so i can't really do the back and be able to see it so i'm gonna do the back i'll keep updating you guys until i get to the front and you guys can actually see exactly what i'm doing <laughs> but for the back i'm just gonna do it um sitting in a different location so here's the first row done i did uh, i think five so as you can see they are really really light and comfortable i can put them up i can put them down like they are so light i can't even like fill them but this is done and they are super secured like they're not going anywhere so i just finished row number three and this is how they are looking so far they are starting to get a little bit full which is what i want so that's row number three done so this is how it's currently looking at row number five so now I just finished row number 10 and this is how far I am. This is how it's looking. I'm like almost done. 
so this is how much is left to install so i'm going to show you guys how i've been installing them with this hair so first i'm just gonna section a piece like this much like so and then take my looping tool which is this small crochet and a cylinder and put it through in here and then latch the hair and then close it pull it through the cylinder and now that we have my hair inside the cylinder i'm going to take a piece of extension hair and then put it inside the cylinder like so this is another thing that you also have to bear in mind if you're making your own make sure they can fit in your cylinders or your beads or whatever that you're using to attach and then making sure that the extension is not exposed in the front here of the cylinder just for comfortable reason because it can get like really irritating so i'm gonna take my pliers and then start closing the cylinder and you just like pinch it together with your pliers and I also like to use the flat side of the plier just to make it extra flat so and that is done so again taking my little crochet attaching it and then pulling through my hair through the cylinder and then take a piece of extension put it in like so making sure i have enough space of my natural hair just so that the extension can be comfortable and then close the cylinder and then also making sure that the extension piece is not exposed on the roots here because it can get really uncomfortable and then turn my pliers and just press it together just so that it can lay as flat as possible and as you can see you can move it any direction so this makes it easy to do whatever style you want so again taking my um, crochet with the cylinder inside close it pull it through like so making sure i have enough space for it to move around and then take a piece of extension here put it inside the cylinder and then take my pliers and close it and then turn my pliers again to the flat side just to make it super flat and that is so I'm just going to continue finishing all this. so i am done now they're all 
done i have enough leave out to still be able to cover my extensions so i'm just gonna take everything down so i can start straightening my hair so i'm done straightening all the hair and as you can see you can't really see the extensions i mean i can feel them a little bit when i touch through my hair but you can't really see them and the leave out is covering everything i want to mostly wear my hair like this like behind the ears but also with a little bit of length so i'm just gonna separate this into two and i'm putting on some rubber bands just to guide me on the haircut and i'm just gonna take my scissors and start cutting And to make it less blunt and to kind of like feather it, I'm going to use this razor comb. I got this from this cam. So here's the ponytail check. So this is how my extensions are looking. As you guys can see, they look really, really good. They look natural. I mean, like the hair and the extensions are not really like the same texture, but they do blend quite well, which is what I love about this hair. So, and I just added some loose curls, which is going to be a separate video. It's going to be a video after this one. So yeah, this is how they're looking. I'm just going to show you the bag. So you can get extensions like this even if you have thin short hair you just have to know how to do your hair and know how to blend your hair with extensions so i just try to blend my hair with my extensions and i think i did a pretty good job so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you've been already and i'll see you guys on the next one bye